بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله رب إشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحلو لقطة من لساني يفكر قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I hope inshallah all of you are well brothers and sisters um, I wanted to talk today about um, synthetic cannabinoids um, which is becoming increasingly prevalent um, unfortunately uh, especially amongst the youth um, and people need to be aware about the dangers and risks of um, synthetic cannabinoids um, they come in various different names um, they're marketed heavily um, making it attractive uh, so they come with names such as K2, such as Spice, AK-47, Black Mamba, uh, Yucatan Fire, Genie, Skunk, Moon Rocks. Um, and they first became available in the US in the 2000s. Um, and more recently, there's different modes of um, using it. So it can be put in vape um, as liquid um, and often it's mixed with things like heroin and benzodiazepines making it very dangerous also we've seen a phenomena recently um, where people are spraying the chemicals on paper um, and uh, selling um, paper uh, so the, the, the synthetic cannabinoids are sprayed or the chemicals are sprayed in the paper and people can either burn it inhale it and there's different mechanisms one of the challenges is that it's not detected in normal urine drug screens uh, so unless the patient uh, acknowledges that they're using it, um, it's difficult to identify. Um, usually we get family members reporting a change in uh, behavior, um, irritability, isolation, maybe some kind of uh, hallucinations. Um, and we have to send the samples uh, for detailed forensic uh, analysis and that can pick it up. But normal urine drug screens uh, doesn't pick it up. And essentially what they do is uh, they use incense or other leafy materials uh, and they're sprayed with lab synthesized uh, liquid chemicals that mimic the effect of THC. The actions actually take effect on the cannabinoid receptors in the brain, uh, although it doesn't contain THC. And some of these synthesized compounds in the synthetic cannabinoids bind much more strongly to THC receptors than regular marijuana or hashish. And this can lead to much more powerful, unpredictable and dangerous effects. Some of these compounds have been reported to be 100 times uh, subhanAllah, more potent than the average THC found in marijuana. Uh, so the stronger binding of the synthetic uh, chemicals to the THC receptor sites in the brain may lead to extreme anxiety, uh, paranoia, which have been reported in some users. And even uh, subhanAllah, some uh, staff have uh, become very unwell by just touching the paper because uh, it can be uh, transdermally um, or through the skin can be absorbed. Um, there's very uh, significant um, harmful effects. It can increase your blood pressure. It can cause nausea and vomiting. Uh, anxiety or agitation can cause seizures or fits. It can increase your heart rate, cause excessive sweating, uh, cause confusion and hallucinations. Um, it can also cause bleeding. So the Illinois uh, Department of Health reported several cases of severe bleeding in people who had used synthetic cannabinoids such as spice or k2 that was contaminated with blood thinners uh, so this is the issue that um, dealers are now mixing and matching and contaminate, contaminating compounds um, and uh, so you're not sure when you're using what actually it contains so the centers for disease control and prevention the cdc uh, posted an outbreak alert warning of life-threatening vitamin k dependent antagonist bleeding disorders which are linked to synthetic uh, cannabinoids uh, in Illinois and other US states. Uh, this was a couple of years ago, I believe. And they reported at least four deaths from severe bleeding uh, in Illinois. In terms of how prevalent it is, um, I found some data from Monitoring the Future Survey in 2019. So this is an annual survey that is uh, done by uh, researchers in the University of Michigan it's, and it's um, funded by NIDA, the National Institute of Drug Abuse. Um, so they take uh, annual surveys of 8th, 10th and 12th graders um, about their patterns of substance use um, over the preceding 30 days, 12 months and lifetime prevalence. So in 2019, the survey found um, that uh, synthetic marijuana was 3.5%. So it was ranked third compared to use of natural marijuana, which is 35.7%. 
uh, and LSD 3.6% in high, senior, high school seniors. In 2020, the synthetic marijuana use was reported at a rate of 2.4%, so it had dropped slightly. Um, so I wanted to uh, mention this because it's becoming a very, very uh, problematic in adult as well as young patients. Um, in, in terms of uh, harmful effects, it's much more harmful than uh, natural or marijuana. It can cause suicidal thoughts, can cause violent behavior, paranoia, hallucinations. Um, so the, uh, the effects are very unpredictable. So please watch out um, if you notice any change in behavior of a family member, um, get help as soon as possible. Um, so yeah, this is, a, this is a, something important that people should be aware of. Uh, and as I mentioned, often when patients are brought to the addiction clinic, um, we do the urine drug screen and there's nothing shows up. Uh, but the, the family obviously are very concerned about the patient's behaviour. Um, so for uh, mental health professionals and doctors working in the emergency department, always consider synthetic uh, cannabinoid uh, use or designer drugs they're called um, and seek uh, expert help because the samples will usually need to be sent uh, for detailed uh, analysis to a forensic lab. Inshallah, that's helpful. Uh, until next time, see your brother, Dr. Abu Issa. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.